Have you thought about what you're getting me for a going away gift? I mean, I don't want to put pressure on you. Yeah, I've thought about it. Maybe you've heard. After 18 years with WGR 550 in Buffalo, Howard Simon is calling it quits. I'm really glad to be done. I have no regrets. None at all. He's going on on his own terms, of course, which is, you know, what a lot of people would want for anybody. Howard and Jeremy teamed up in November of 2004. They really didn't even know each other. But it's worked. My Twitter profile says I've been doing this for 18 years, and it's longer than anybody's expected. Like, even me. Now we're like a married couple. We finish each other's sentences and know what the other person's thinking for the next point or question before even, like, I, I know what he's going to ask. He knows what I'm going to ask, and it's, it's been great. WGR was the most recent stop. He's really a hunk. Roughneck. Okay. But Simon's journey into broadcasting began in the 80s with several different jobs in radio. Uh -huh. I mean, if you're not the definitive voice of sports broadcasting in <laughs> Western New York, I don't know who is. Right, I'm getting my wallet out. The money's in the mail to you. And in TV at Empire Sports Network. You can see the disbelief in their eyes when they return that touchdown. I love sports. I saw broadcasting and I thought, this would be a really cool way to make a living. It's the only thing I ever wanted to do. And he wanted to do it in Buffalo. The Long Island native had chances to leave. It just never really made any sense. It's a community where you feel like you are part of a family. When you're a Bills fan or a Sabres fan, I bet you've seen this. How many times do you go out of, tra out of town, you travel, and maybe you're wearing a Bills cap or a Sabres cap or a shirt, whatever. I know i got a Mets cap on. But people notice you and go, hey, Bill, Sabres. It's just a big family. And even in the down times, everybody's there for you. Yeah, there have been down times. There are a certain 17 years that come to mind. We went through a lot of bad Bill seasons, and that can kind of, as Bills fans know, confuse people together. It kind of brings you together when they're not very good. But those lows make the highs that much sweeter. And during his time at WGR, nothing tops the drought coming to an end. Doing the show... The calls, people were calling up and crying on our show because the Bills drought ended. It was amazing. I don't, like I said, short of the Sabres winning a cup or the Bills winning a Super Bowl, the ending of the drought and being connected to the fans, I'm not sure anything else will touch that. So as Simon prepares for his last show, he wants to thank those of you who have listened. The listeners are everything. The viewers at Empire, that's, that's why we do the show. And... Knowing they're out there and enjoying all of our work, that's why, we, that's why we come to work. You know, we do it for them. And it's really cool to know that they've appreciated us. From picking the bills to trying peanut butter for the first time, there is nobody quite like Howard. It has certainly been a heck of a ride. I'm excited about the future, but, you know, it's not lost on me how significant it is that, you know, he's finally hanging him up. I don't know what the last show will be like. I'm not, I mean, it will be, I'm sure it'll be a little bit. I cried everything now, an emotional wreck. So I'm sure it'll be... Bittersweet, the final sign-off, whatever, we'll see.